Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I hope that you all are doing amazing. Um, well, so today's topic is deep listening can be transformative and healing. Yeah. So um, why this topic? Because in today's world, we are just running away from deep listening and investing more time in chatting um, you know rather than giving our presence we are just being you know there with the, the gadgets and um, we're losing that touch actually and deep listening can happen over zoom over a call um face to face of course so today i'm going to talk about that and uh, why and how it can be transformative and healing so i'm giving you a little bit of context in coaching deep listening is one of the greatest skill that is the foundation of getting to know the person and going deep into what is really really happening right and that's a skill, that's an art, which has to be practiced, mastered, and um, uh, it, it doesn't happen overnight. I still remember when I started my coaching journey and, uh, you know, I was uh, thinking, um, how am I going to make a difference in someone's life? Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, all sort of, and when you are, uh, you know, driven uh, towards creating excellence uh, you want everything to be perfect right you don't want to miss out you don't want to um, really just do the thing but you really want to make an impact um, so that time i read a book by master coach rich Litman, and in that book it was written that you know a lamp post which has no life but when a person stands in front of the lamppost and sheds tears or speaks something sort of venting out the lamppost without even knowing has done a great 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 job you know why because he has helped the person to sort of release something that the person was holding on to and pain, anxiety, stress and if a lamppost can make a difference like this then a living, breathing coach can definitely for sure make a difference and that particular thing really gave me the confidence to uh, move in my journey and today where I am, where I am because of uh, those small subtle nuances which brought about you know, give me that confidence to take the first step and, and the like. Why I'm bringing that is because if you look at the work of that lamppost, unknowingly, lamppost was actually listening. But many a times what we do in today's world, we don't listen. We try to fix things. We try to uh, project our context. We try to just listen half a bit and you know, something starts getting created in our mind and we speak from that space in a way we're not deep listening deep listening is giving your presence giving your 101 presence to the person and really getting that person really sitting in inquiry like i know nothing about what you're saying tell me more about it and i'm there for you to listen to you right so that's the space that you're in, despite of having knowledge, wisdom whatsoever. If you can sit in that space and help the person speak his or her heart out, you're doing a great job. And to top it with the talk by one of the spiritual leaders who is no more now, and I'm a big fan of him. He's no more but his teachings, his learnings, and everything is there in depth. He has left behind a legacy, and his name is Thich Nhat Khan. And he said, deep listening can be transformative and healing. How? 
when you are giving your hundred percent presence to another person, where your body, mind, soul is there in that moment, you are giving your presence, which is invaluable. And listening from a space of understanding the person, no correction, no fixing, no sort of trying to, you know, prove that you are better than the person or the person whatever he's holding on to is not right no you're just sort of listening and this is one of the biggest skills in coaching which most of the leaders they don't possess because it is something that you have to practice and master and um, keep doing it right but many a times what happens is our ego sort of takes over and doesn't want to listen because what we do is after listening one or two points we start to frame that sentence on our own and so we don't come to that space but this is a practice being in that moment for someone so once you do that what happens is the person can let out and you'll get to know the context which is very very important in any case getting to know and the context and then you can help him see what he's not seeing or take him to where he or she wants to go. That comes later. The first thing is this. And uh, so deep listening is transformative and healing. Healing is what basically being able to see your pain from a different angle, not getting triggered, but being able to accept it and see it from a different angle. And you'll be able to only do this when you pull your heart out. Right? With this, I end this conversation today. All I'm inviting you to reflect on is which are the areas where you really, really deeply listen to another? And if not, what stops you from doing that? Starting you from play. Until next, take care. Bye-bye.